Howdy gamers, welcome to another edition of Flashback Friday. This is Patrick Pickett Jr., editor-in-chief of ReviewFix.com, and this week out we're going to be playing Marvel Superheroes for the Super Nintendo. So this is not the game that you think that you would be getting by, uh... Ah! So War of the Gems is a beat-em-up. A particularly difficult beat-em-up that's not nearly as sexy as you would think. But, um... Uh, before Marvel Super Heroes and Marvel vs. Capcom and all of those games, this was kind of like the game that Capcom used to kind of like wet everyone's palate. You had different guys to choose from, a bunch of different levels. It was trying to kind of like bring those classic X-Men games in the arcade to the uh, to the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. So this game is actually really good if you if you work hard, <laughs> if you try really hard at it. Like, this level sucks, man. I should have picked an easier level. I f it's kind of like bootleg uh, Sonic the Hedgehog and stuff. Like, it had this whole thing with air early on, and... That's not good. So, like, I just kind of, like... Touch that guy. Okay, so let's try a different level. Okay, so Spider Man said it kind of reminds me of Ninja Turtles on the uh, Nintendo TMNT, the first one. You kind of pick your different guys and stuff like that, and, and you just go to work. So, pretty, like I said, this is a pretty straightforward beat em up. It could be like extra fun when you're with people, but for the most part it's like pretty to the point. You know, you press on one button to attack, one button to jump. It's fun. You're not gonna be overtly challenged, but I mean the reason why we're flashing back is because I mean, when was the last time you played a Marvel beat em up with like six different characters? And the fact that it looks so similar to Marvel vs. Capcom it's an important title, and I love the Go thing here. So, definitely an old school beat em up. Not the easiest either. So, eh, if you see this in a retro game store, it's definitely worth a pick up. Somewhat of a platformer, somewhat of a beat em up. A little bit of everything. And who doesn't want to play as, like, Hulk, Wolverine, and Spider Man? Like, you'd, you'd have to be. You'd have to be crazy not to want to do that. So, 